Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I am here with a book haul. Uh, this book haul is for my second visit to Hooked on Books in Wildwood, New Jersey. I visited Hooked on Books back in June, and I was so impressed that I had to go back a second time before they closed for the summer. Uh, and in this case, uh, they close at the end of September. Uh, and for their closing sale, uh, because they do plan to open, uh, they plan to reopen in May for next summer, uh, they sold their books where the Buy Three Children's books get the fourth for three remained intact, but instead of buy ten books and get 20% off, you only had to buy five books to get 20% off, and if you got 10 or more books, it was 30% off. And I bought 22 books total, uh, so I thought I'd get right into them. Uh, the first books that I got were more uh, miscellaneous kinds of books, and the first thing that I got is the Little Giant Encyclopedia of Puzzles, uh, which is was put together by the Diagram Group. Uh, I have a collection of the little giant books and encyclopedias, and this one really seems uh, quite intriguing. I enjoy logic puzzles and puzzles of this nature. Some of the uh, examples are uh, the uh, this image that I'm still trying to figure out, uh, which fisherman has caught a crab, and the question of a farmer had seven daughters and they each had a brother. How many children did he have? Which, after thinking about it a few times, uh, the answer was pretty logically obvious. So, the next books that I got were uh, two Trivia Mania books, uh, one of which is for commercials and ads. And the other one's for comics and cartoons. Uh, they were put together by Xavier Einstein. Uh, these were written back in 1984. So I read the first page of questions for each. And while there may be a bit of dating to it, I'm intrigued to check this out and uh, play along with it. I added two more James A. Mishner books to my collection. Uh, the first is The Drifters, having to do with the, uh, having to do with uh, hippie culture in America, and Rascals in Paradise, which he co-wrote with A. Grove Day, and uh, this follows, uh, and this follows a group of men who uh, sailed on the South Seas. I added a book to my Robert McCammon collection, and while I couldn't find mine, which is one of his original standalones, uh, I did find The Five, which is a more recent release of his. It is a work of horror, and it has to do with a band on a tour, and their encounter with a, a veteran of the Iraq War. Uh, I'm really intrigued to uh, check this out, especially since the uh, owner slash co-owner of Hooked on Books uh, highly enjoyed it himself. Uh, uh, he is—he uh, seems to be an enthusiast for Robert McCammon, uh, which I find uh, evident from my last visit to uh, Hooked on Books, where I really. Uh, beefed up my McCammon collection. Uh, I'm just looking for mine uh, now as far as his uh, older standalone horror books are concerned. Next book that I got is The Plague Dogs by Richard Adams. Uh, Adams's more familiar book is Watership Down, but my mother highly... Uh, in, uh, she really got something from uh, the Plague Dogs. Uh, it was very uh, intriguing and thought-provoking, and 
I thought that I'd pick this up for myself as well. Uh, I have Watership Down, and I've read Watership Down, we've gone over Watership Down on our channel. Uh, so I thought that looking into Plague Dogs would be an interesting experience. And I added two more books to my Orhan Pamuk collection. Uh, the first being The New Life, and the next one being Istanbul, uh, which uh, Istanbul has to do with his experiences. Uh, this is uh, more so a memoir, while a new, The New Life is a work of fiction. I also beefed up my uh, collections of plays and short stories, uh, both of which I'd like to incorporate a little bit more onto the channel uh, as best as possible, uh, because there's so much that there is to go over. While we want to go over works that people are familiar with, uh, I also feel that introducing you to Introducing you and myself and the other gladiators to new things is uh, definitely important and uh, keeps things rolling with the group. So I thought I'd start with sharing the plays that I uh, incorporate, uh, the play collections that I added. Uh, the first one is the collected plays of Neil Simon, uh, Volume 2 which includes Little Me, The Gingerbread Lady, The Prisoner of Second Avenue, The Sunshine Boys, The Good Doctor, God's Favorite, California Suite, and Chapter Two. Uh, the, fir the collection that I got at the Book Garden, I'm almost positive, was Volume One, uh, which included The Odd Couple and Barefoot in the Park. But uh, Neil Simon is definitely somebody I want to get into uh, a little bit more. There was a book about absurdism, uh, absurdist playwrights, and while I didn't get the book because I want to actually read the plays before I start reading uh, critical essays and analysis, they did mention uh, Eugene Ionesco, who was a Romanian-born playwright that wrote in French, and... The play that he's known most for is The Bald Soprano, uh, but this is a collection of uh, The Bald Soprano and other plays, uh, which include The Lesson, Jack or the Submission, and The Chairs. And if I'm convinced, I'm definitely going to explore everything else that Ionesco has to offer. Next book that I got is Five Modern Scandinavian Plays, which this was written back in 1971, so modern to that particular time. But it includes a play from each of the uh, Scandinavian Nordic countries. Uh, there is a play from uh, Denmark, uh, Finland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden. Uh, they include, uh, it, it includes, for the Danish play, it's Lion with Corset by Carl Eric Soya. For the, for the Finnish play, it is uh, The Sisters by uh, Valentin Chorel, uh, or Valentin Chorel. Uh, the Icelandic choice is The Golden Gate by Davio St uh, St Stephenson. Uh, the Norwegian selection is Our Power and Our Glory by Nordahl Grieg. And the Swedish selection is The Man Who Lived His Life Over by Par Lagerfists. Uh, and they're respectively translated by... Uh, Barbara Knudsen, Tina Mordock, GM Garthorn Hardy, GM Garthorn Hardy also 
Uh, she translated both the Icelandic and the Norwegian. And Walter Gustafsson. Quite something to be able to go into really older collections and uh, resurrect them as well. And this particular... And the uh, Ionesco collection was translated by Donald M. Allen. I also picked up Contemporary Plays by Women, edited by Amelie S. Kilgore, and it features plays from Marcia Norman, Wendy Kesselman, Lynn Seifert, Tina Howe, Anne Devlin, Carol Churchill, and Lucy Gannon. Uh, these are, uh, all of them were uh, winners or runners-up of the Susan Smith Blackburn Prize. And now we move on to the short stories, which I really want to get more into uh, short stories in general, and uh, be able to explore it in its greater range. Uh, the first one that I got is uh, Irwin Shaw, the uh, short stories of five decades. This includes a selected 63 short stories that he has written uh, th during his career. And I'm really intrigued to check them all out. Next one that I picked up is Balancing Acts, Contemporary Stories by Russian Women, which came out in 1989, and it features a great range of uh, female authors that I am intrigued to uh, introduce myself to, as far as their writing is concerned. I picked up the uh, Great Modern European Short Stories anthology, and I also picked up the Mid-Century, which is an anthology of distinguished contemporary American short stories. Uh, there's a great range of different writers in both. That's for the European, and this is for the American. And they were pretty old collections uh, that I came across, uh, so uh, there's some of them that you are probably going to be familiar with, but others uh, not so much. And finally, I picked up th finally I picked up five best American short story collections. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with more. Uh, literary contemporary. Uh, this is, uh, I got the one from 2002, which was guest edited by Susan Miller, and the series editor was Katrina Kennison. I got the 2009 collection, uh, edited by Alice Sebald, and uh, series edited by Heidi Pittler. Heidi Pittler uh, edited the other three, uh, but uh, in 2010, it was Richard Russo was the editor. 2011, it was Geraldine Brooks. And 2013, it was Elizabeth Strout. And there were some of them that I was quite familiar with, uh, one of which was the Semplica Girl Diaries in the 2013 collection, uh, which I've went over in an individual video, and we will be going over in Season 8. Alrighty, those are the 22 books that I got while I was at Hooked on Books. I definitely want to go back. And I want to thank you for tuning into this video, and if you are paying a visit to Wildwood or a neighboring area, uh, between the months of May and September, I highly encourage you to check out Hooked on Books. Thank you, and for now,
Keep reading.